So now what we have done is we established the connectivity between on prem and the hub. So now the new things comes. Now we may have. Spock, right? Now I have a VM inside this Spock. So IP address as this one is 10.125.0.0 slash 24. Now I need to communicate between these two and later from here to here, right? So now we are going to do a VNet peering between this. So now we are going to yep. see how to establish a connection between my hub and Spock. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'll turn off the mic first. I'm going to create a separate subscription for my Spock and then I will create a separate VNet and then I'll create a subnet and then in that subnet I'll create a VM and then I'll do a VPN VNet peering. Once I do a VNet peering, it should able to communicate each other. Similarly, I will create one more Spock in a different which you call it as Spock 2. I will deploy this with the 10.145.0.0 slash 24 and I'll deploy one more VM and we'll do a VNet peering. OK, so already done this to save the time. So if you if you see this one now, see now I'm going to the my subscription. Here. So here I have created one Spock video uh, uh, subscription and another Spock subscription for Citrix. If you go inside this one, I have a VNet which is dedicated for my Spock one and see uh, VNet, 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 VNet. Yeah, AVD VNet, which means my Spock VNet one and Citrix VNet, which means Spock VNet two. Now I'm going to do a VNet peering between AVD hub and between Citrix VNet and hub. OK, so first what I'll do, I'll select my hub VNet. OK, then I'll go to peering. I'll stay at. I will enter the name hub to. Spock one. OK, so I'm going to connect from hub to Spock one. It will say traffic to remote network, so I'll say allow. So it means anything coming from hub right i'm allowing to pass it to spock so another one is traffic forwarded from remote virtual network it means anything coming from a remote so uh, to to put it in a correct way let me go to the whiteboard so traffic to remote virtual network and traffic forwarded from remote virtual it means your this is your hub this is your spock i'm going to create a vpn VNet peering. So now it is saying traffic coming from a remote network. It means now I'm doing a peering here, right? So for this remote network is by Spock. So I'm saying that traffic coming from remote network. It means allow this and traffic forwarded to the remote network. Allow this. So now if I select this one, right, it will allow both the side. This is very careful, guys. Okay. So normally we will allow both. And this is very, very, very important. So now I'm not going to select. I will keep it as none, but read it very carefully. Virtual network gateway or route server. Use this virtual network gateway or none. I will explain you this what it is. If I select this one, right? Use this virtual network gateway. It means what it will do. This is very careful. I have a virtual network gateway, right? In hub. So when you when I am doing a peering, I am saying that. If this wanted to talk to any on prem. Shall I use my network gateway? If you select yes, it will use this one. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'll select yes because I wanted to use this virtual network gateway, which means in the hub. Now the second part remote network. So now you need to mention the Spock details. So I'm going to select Spock to Spock one to. Hub. So here also it will ask subscription. I have it in my Spock one subscription. What is the network? So network is AVD VNet. So traffic to remote virtual network. It means listen very carefully. Now I'm doing this part traffic to remote network. Now for the Spock remote is hub, right? So I'm allowing from here to here. 
Similarly, the another option is traffic forwarded from my remote, which is this one. So I am allowing that also. If you go to my option here, the second option, traffic forwarded from the remote virtual network. And this one is very important, virtual network gateway or route server. So now I am going to use use the remote virtual network gateway. This is very important. Why? Because remote virtual network gateway means for me remote is whom hub. So hub is having the network gateway, right? Which is VPN gateway. So I am saying that I am saying that you, if you wanted to communicate anything outside to your on-prem etc., you should use my, which is a remote gateway. Okay, because this doesn't have any VPN, right? So it has to use the remote gateway. So if you select that, it will use this one. If you do not select, it will won't choose anything and any traffic to on-prem, it will drop here itself. This is very careful. Uh, this is you have to be very careful while selecting this option. So always for the Spock, you need to use use remote network gateway. For the hub, you need to select use this network gateway because your gateway is deployed in the hub itself. So click add. So it will do the peering. OK, now I'm going to my VM, which is my hub VM. This is my on-premise communication, right? Now I'm going to ping it to my Spock 1 VM, which is 10.125.0.4. OK, let's see why it is not working. Similarly, I'll go to my uh, VBD VM. OK. CMD. IP config pink 10.163.0.4 hyphen T. See, from my Spock, I can able to talk to Hub. From Hub, I'm not able to talk to Spock. Why? Because maybe the local firewall which is blocking it. So if I go to this properties, Everything is allowed here. Firewall looks same. Same. I'm going to the hub. I will see once again. Yeah, see. Now it is communication is established. This traffic is over, go, go, going over the peering and it is through the backbone, the VPN, which is over the internet. Now, what we have done is if I go back to my original diagram, we have established the connection between my Spock one to hub and uh, it is communicate. It is able to communicate successfully. Now what I told I told you right. I enable to use VPN gateway of my remote so that now my Spock can talk to on prem because I used that option which is use remote gateway. Now if I go to my Spock one and if I try to ping to my on prem, let's see what is the behavior. I am going to my Spock one. This is I am pinging into the hub. So now I am pinging into my on premise 10.168.0.4. Yeah, you need to give me an answer now why it is not pinging. So if I will go to the on prem. And I will try to ping to my Spock. OK. 10. Uh, what is my Spock? 10.125.0.4. You should give me the answer why it is not pinging. So the mic is yours. Perfect. OK. I need to address that. I need to. Because now my on pin doesn't know 10.125, right? Because I did not address it. So I need to go to my on prem. I need to select. Okay, let's before that I'll do one thing. I'll do a static, sorry, uh, continuous ping. And now I will define here. I'll say that 10.125.0.0 to 255.255.255. This is my Azure network so that you send the traffic. Now it is blocking here itself because it doesn't know what is 10.125. Now I'm saying that this is my Azure. 
So the moment I add this, okay, network mask zero. zero. Yeah. Sweet. Now I addressed. Let's see the magic here. See, now it is pinging. This is very important because this is the most common scenario in Azure when you work with Azure Virtual Desktop. People are saying that from my firewall it is allowed, why it is not coming. Always make, make sure that your routes are advertised properly. Now, if I go to my Spock, that is my Spock. If I try to ping, see, I'm able to see my on-prem. But if I define anything new in on-prem, then this doesn't work. You need to locally go to the network gateway and you need to add it. OK, so that's I'm not covering now. So now this is fine. Now what we are going to do is. So now this part is completed. Now I'm going to do a VNet pairing between my hub and Spock 2. OK. I'll go to the Azure portal. I'll go to my virtual network and I'll go to my hub. And I'll go to peering. I'll select add. I'll select. I'll say hub to Spock to. OK. Allow allow use this gateway. If I don't select this one, it won't use the VPN. Peering that is Spock to to hub. I'll select my. This is Spock to and the network which is Citrix Vnet. Allow, allow, and use this. Use the remote VNet, which is the same option, so that it can use to communicate to my on-premise. Now, I need to go to my on-premise. I need to define the Spock to here, right? Otherwise, I cannot be able to do that. 10.145.0.0, and then I will address 255. Dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. I'll click OK. Now I'll do one thing. First, I'll go to the Spock two. First, I'll uh, first I will check the connectivity between the hub and Spock two, and then we will check the on-premise one. Okay. So I'm going to the Spock two. Okay. IP config. Ping 10.163.0.4. I'm able to ping, right? Let's ping to my on premise 10. Dot, sorry, 192.168.0.4. I'm able to ping because I already added the route. Everything is fine. So if I go back to my on prem and if I ping back to my Spock to 10.145.0.0, sorry, 0.4. I'm able to ping. Now everything is fine. Let's see hub to Spock to. So this is my hub. I'm going to ping 145.0.0.4. I'm pinging. Now everything is fine. I'm able to talk to from Spock 1 to my hub, Spock 1 to my on-prem, Spock 2 to hub, and Spock 2 to my on-prem. Now coming into the very interesting concept. Spock to Spock, we'll see what is the behavior. OK. Now I'm going to the Spock one. I'll ping 10.145.0.4. I'm not able to ping. Similarly, I'll go to my Spock to 10.125.0.4. I'm not able to ping. Why? Because you need to have some L3 device here to you know do the routing from here to here. On prem, how you are able to go because you have a VPN, right? VPN is nothing but a L3 device. So that will help you to transfer your traffic. But VPN is only between your on prem and Azure, not between Azure to Azure. So to route the traffic between Azure to Azure, you need to have a routing appliance, which is nothing but we can use our Azure Firewall. So now the next step is we are going to deploy Azure Firewall over here and then we will see 
how to allow the traffic between these two. Now you need to you got you now you got to know right how to communicate between Spock and Hub and between Hub and on-prem and between Hub sorry between on-prem and Spock. Now we firewall is not at all in the picture. Okay, 